Hi, Mark. Mark's uh, leaving with uh, half of the uh, old truck in the back of his bed. Hopefully, it doesn't fly out. Look at that! Look at that sexy beast on stock wheels. Look at that thing. Well, guys, good afternoon. Welcome to the video today. Um, we had plans of getting a lot of stuff done, but it's just—it's too fun hanging out with your friends. Uh, Mark and his buddy John, um, who I just met, uh, came by, and we got the cab off, and then we just started talking, and now it's. Holy, it's already 3.15, so, uh, but we did get the uh, cab off the pl new plan. Uh, we were trying to work through the the whole orchestra of getting the cab to mark, getting the frame kind of painted and sandblasted where we, so it's, so the new plan is you don't care about the old plans. What I'm going to do is there's a couple spots that, you know, if the cab can come off now, it's not going to be able to come off. So really just, you know, where the body mounts bolt to, um, I w really just wanted to clean up. I'm going to pour 15, a couple little areas and then repaint, uh, the entire underneath. And then I'm going to cut out the wiper cowl. Now that it's down here, we're going to flip that back over. Um, I'm going to do that. And then, um, which I had not really planned on doing. Um, and one of you guys even mentioned, he's like, if you're going to do any type of cage work, fab work, do that and then worry about painting the inside and painting the cab um, after the fact. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you, whoever commented that. So me and Mark were just kind of like, you know what, Let, let's just get the, the, the chassis, the fab work done, and then we'll work around the cage and paint, you know, everything else. But the one thing we cannot get to is underneath. So we're going to do that now. What I'm going to do too is, even though I really, you know, wasn't planning on it, we are going to strip this frame basically completely, completely bare now, um, and then get the frame blasted. And it's just going to make it easier for reassembly in the future. So we're going to get it blasted, and then um, we're probably not going to powder coat it or anything like that, but I'm going to get the frame to, bare frame to Mark. He's basically going to paint uh, from here to here and then kind of like you know put some primer on it to make sure it doesn't rust or anything but we're going to really really paint the areas that we're not going to be able to get to once the cab is permanently tied so hey that's what we're going to do that's the plan so now the truck needs to get broken down even further but i mean hey we're here now we might as well do it um it's actually it's actually a very very beautiful day i think it's up to like 50 degrees but um did actually take the first gen out for a little test drive um i think what we're gonna do now we're gonna go for a little test drive in the first gen because it's ready to go got big greg setting up the gopros about to go for a rip gopro greg on it again Turn it back off. Oh, All right. go, go you got to You got to You got to You got to film the shifter so they can see the shifter in action. First gear. Safety first. Belted. Locked in. Ready to go. Here we go. So we do have. Are you, are you on? We do have overdrive and then lock up underneath here. They are functioning and working now. It took us long enough to hook that up, but they are ready to go. noticed is downshifting into first it, it's really harsh and I don't think it really is necessary um, pretty much leave it in second gear so like if you're going to come to a complete stop back in first gear
How's it feel? Yes. We are back up to 50% of the trucks in the driveway running again. Where are we going? Uh, we gotta get fuel. We, our, our fuel gauge is reading zero. Hopefully we make it, boys. Shift, boys. Doesn't do that automatically anymore. Turning heads, breaking necks. Missing shifts. <laughs> That's right. What's up with the crows? Rocks, dude, I already showed them. <laughs> all right, so we must have forgot the filler neck, but that's all right. It'll, it'll be enough that we can get the cap on. The cap will hold it up, put some screws in it back when we get home. But she's back, boys. She is back. She's here to party. the old Mino was gonna do it. He gave us the thumbs up. I was like, oh crap, there's a car coming. Oh well, yeah, I got him loose there a little bit. Still stand behind the theory of, if this, is, this shifting is not bad. I don't really mind it. Whether I would get tired of it on a day-to-day -day basis, in my opinion, I don't know. I might. What do you What do you think, Andy? 
I thought you were gonna. You were just about saying you stand behind a theory. What was the theory? That it might be annoying, like that as this, opposed that to this, it automatic. Yes, that this shifting might get a little annoying on a daily basis. Yeah, I guess if it was your absolute daily driver. I would say, I would say it could could get annoying. I mean, in optimal conditions, if you're only driving the vehicle like it's your play vehicle, then it'd be fun. But if you gotta like do it in the cold and mm. yeah, there's just so many different things. Can you uh, can you grab the wheel truck? I want to check the trans fluid one more one more time in neutral. It's just gonna roll here. So I think what's happening is, and I'll go inside and grab the piece. So when we first did the uh, oil feed for this, this was before I talked to Turbonetics about the uh, fitting that screws into um, the actual housing for this. It's actually a very, very small, because this, turbo, because this turbo's ball bearing, I don't think it needs that much oil. And we're running a number six line to it because that's kind of what I run on all the S400 stuff. So I think it's just liter I think it's just getting too much oil. So I have the fitting from Turbonetics. So we'll end up changing that out to a dash four line. I put a dash six line is because I had the metric thread to go into the filter housing and I, and I pretty much had all of this stuff. So now that I know that I think it needs a number four, we'll have to put that on the list. Transmission fluid's just a little. Yeah, I mean like it, 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 it it's just because this is the first time we started pushing it, but you know, it cleans right up. It's just, I think it's just got a little bit too much. Other, but other than that, I mean. Sweat and horsepower. Pretty much. That's all it is. So, we'll just suck a little bit of transmission fluid out of it. And that's, don't touch that, you get fiber. But overall, I mean, she's back, boys. Oh, you wiped it all off. Oh yeah. What? What? What burnout, officer? Gotta clean that up. No burnouts here, buddy. Ooh. Now I speak from experience. You don't want to let this stuff sit because it will become one with the Gen One. Yep. So, fine, fine, fine tweaking needs to happen, but overall. Overall, she a bad girl. Potentially going to the scene of the accident? Uh, yep. Oh, they're jaking heavy up there. I think, uh, I think we might have had a little bit of too much white smoke, and that, uh... In the wrong locale. I, I mean, I don't see how they're seeing the smoke all the way from Mexico, but... See what happens here momentarily. Stand by. <laughs> Everybody go inside. <laughs> well, we just tried spending the last hour or so cleaning up this mess outside and cleaning the rest of the rubber off the side of the first gen. The the one side just wiped right off. The other side literally started to, like I said, melt and really had to try and get that off. So got that off, no big deal. We are now going to uh, maybe try and focus on cleaning this up, who knows. The day, the day has escaped us once again, boys. We are now switching gears. to do some errands. Ooh. 
Ooh, a little monster action going on. Parking hard. First stop, Staples. What are we getting? I'm getting some ink. Ink? Yep. You know what kind? Yes. Are you recording? Yes. You're going back to school. Look at this place, it's cleaned out. I don't even know where it is though. Andy, what are you doing? <laughs> Does that say John Doctor? My name is John. Oh crap. This is poop. Is that cow taking a poop? This is cow marrow. Look at that's a pretty good cow. You drew that? Oh, this is his parachute. This is a crappy parachute. <laughs> that looks like he just took a big fart. He just pooped out a parachute. My name is John Doctor. And this is my poop shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got what we came for. We had to get some ink. All the boxes that the Wrenchworks boxes go out. We need, I, I hand stamp every single one. We ran out of ink. Second stop, Lowe's. These, these stores are popping right now. All right, Lowe's, success. Back, back home we go. You guys are going along everywhere with us today. Leave a comment below if you guys want to see everywhere we go and everything we do. We decided to stop back in Mexico real quick, take a look at the uh, marks that some somebody must have left. Oh, you can't see it from this angle. Nothing too impressive. I saw that car coming. I didn't. I, well, somebody somebody saw a car coming. They had to let out, but not bad. All right, now now we're going back home.